Welcome back. In business, officials from the National Treasury have defended the government's decision to reintroduce parts of the rejected 2024 finance bill, claiming it is essential to reduce borrowing. Speaking to Citizen TV, Albert Mwenda, the Director General of Budget, Fiscal and Economic Affairs at the Treasury, noted that the government aims to raise 170 billion shillings from these reintroduced measures. Jimmy Mbogo reports. To sustain government operation, the National Treasury is proposing reintroduction of elements of the 2024 Finance Bill to generate between 0.9% and 1% of GDP in revenue, or roughly 170 billion shillings. Mwenda explained that while this amount won't fully cover the revenue loss when the Finance Bill was shelved, it will help reduce the fiscal deficit. Uh, that's around uh, 170 uh, billion, give or take. We are not even bringing back. Remember what uh, was lost was uh, estimated at 1.9, uh, 2% uh, of GDP. So it's not everything that uh, uh, we are not going to recoup uh, everything that we lost in the finance bill. And uh, um, what, what the intention of this is uh, also to ensure that uh, we don't lose on the good proposals uh, that Kenyans had uh, proposed to Treasury. To further strengthen the fiscal position, the National Treasury is exploring alternatives such as shifting from euro bond reliance to domestic capital market, leveraging on corporate bonds, debt swaps and public-private partnerships. Because if we continue borrowing, especially from the domestic market, then it means interest rates will uh, remain high Businesses will not be able to borrow, will crowd out uh, private businesses. So the choice for me is very clear. Mwenda was speaking at the FSD Sustainable Capital Market Conference where the British High Commission announced a $5.2 million fund, an equivalent of 667 million shillings, to support SMEs in Kenya. Sector players also urged the government to enhance the capital market to address the funding gaps. This, this question of sustainable capital market development and the need for more innovative financial markets, that, that need has never been greater than it is today, actually, because, you know, fundamentally, we know that business as usual is absolutely not working. Um, and, and so we need to change it. That's just so this is an important moment for us. We think that this fund, uh, which could be listed, uh, to provide liquidity for investors and help develop uh, Kenya's capital markets. But we want to use an innovative blended structure. And we hope that that will mobilize 13 billion shillings of finance from development finance institutions. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.